to It's Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a Windows tip on creating a private password protected folder. So it's more than just hiding a folder. For example, here I've got a folder that I called Protect Me, and inside of it, basically, we're going to create this bat file called locker.bat, and that's going to create a private folder and also a empty folder that you can dump stuff inside and hide it. So I just put an image, for example, in there that I wanted to protect and hide. So basically, first thing first, okay, create a folder. All right, that's the first step. So right click on uh, an area, new, and then folder. All right, so you create a new folder, call it whatever you want, or maybe you already have a folder created somewhere. Okay, so you can choose an existing folder. Inside of that folder, basically, we're going to create this locker.bat file. Now, I've already created the locker.bat file, but I'm going to create it from scratch here just to show you what I did. Locker.bat, here it is. I created it in Notepad and renamed it as uh, .bat, so now it's a batch file. It's empty. There's nothing in it. We need to right-click on it, click on Edit, and then we need to put in all this information. So I'll just cut and paste it in there. I'll put it on my website, so that way you guys can just download it. It's already made. You just need to modify a few things inside of all this uh, code here, okay? Like the password, for example, that you want to pass to protect the folder. That's basically all you really need to do, okay? Now, um, after you've created this, bat file, okay, this locker.bat file, and you've put in the password that you want to uh, use to basically lock the folder, uh, you would save it, okay, and now it's inside of the folder that you want to protect, and when you double click on it, it creates this subfolder, and that subfolder is what it's going to privatize basically and password protect. Dump all your stuff inside of that folder that you want to hide and password protect, okay? Then double click on the locker.bat file and it's going to ask you a question. It's going to say, are you sure you want to uh, lock that folder basically and hide the contents? And you say yes. So as soon as you press Y and enter, the folder disappears. It creates this control panel file, okay? And everything inside of it is hidden, out of view. And the only way to unlock that and bring that folder back is by double clicking again on the locker.bat file and then it will ask you to put in the password okay and it will unhide it and bring it back okay so there you go I double click on it asks for the password type it in, in my case I just made a simple one and there it is it just unveils it shows you the uh, the folder and if you had stuff in it it would show you the stuff that was in it okay pretty simple straightforward just remember that you can customize this uh, text you know like I created a folder called PCWizKids underscore stuff you can change that around so just find every reference to that and just rename it or just leave it as is as a test just don't forget change the password right that's uh, in here because by default uh, there is no password so obviously you're not going to use my password so you would put in your own instead okay so easy not bad at all. Go to my website. I have it already explained and I already created the locker.bat for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.